Okay, so welcome to the next video. Um, as I said in the previous video, it's difficult to actually say exactly what it is that we're going to do. And I'm doing this quite organically, which is the way you should be doing it as well. Um, so in this list, obviously, it says formula. Now, I've got a couple of ideas, but it's going to require me to do something else, um, like a lookup. No, not, look, not a lookup. I mean a count, I see. Yeah. So it's going to require me to do a count before I can do a formula. So for me, the next section is going to be count. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, but before I go any further, it makes more sense to, obviously, organize it here. So after my screenshot, I'm going to go down, paste this in. I'm going to call this section three and as you can tell I'm doing it as I'm going along and this one's going to be count I'm going to put the word count here for a second now you'll notice that in my previous video I called it sorting then I thought about it and I thought actually it makes more sense if I gave it a little bit more substance to the title itself so I said sorting by date of visit order and then I put in brackets oldest to newest and then of course you answer the question yeah so this time we're going to be looking at count and you'll see why in a moment so I'm going to go over here and what I was thinking is, I was thinking about formulas, like where could I put formulas in? Now there's some really obvious ones, and there's some that aren't as obvious. So let's do the one I was just thinking about, count. It would be good if I had some kind of summary to tell me how many people actually answered this survey. Because at the moment, you can't really tell. Now you could guess, you could say, right, you know, it's one here, so obviously we're not going to count that one. So it starts from two onwards, and it goes all the way down to, let's have a look, I think it was 500 from what I remember last, uh, last time. So we'll look, as you can tell, this has taken a long time to go down. There we go. So 500 minus 1, so that's 499. But let's imagine in the real world, this could go up to a few thousand, couldn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a small little summary uh, that's going to break down a couple of things. So I'm going to add a new sheet, okay? And I'm going to put down here uh, number, if I can spell, there we go of uh, participants see pants I believe that's how you spell it my spelling is shocking you could probably tell I'm a, an IT teacher number of party serpents my OCD is going to drive me up the wall so I'm going to just double check this as I said I am being I am doing this organically participants am I right I am right second guessing myself apologies there we go now there's a nice way of doing this and and you can do it in a way where it counts it for you automatically which is really really clever and I'll show you what I mean this is going to be equals and you're gonna just type in the word count and you'll see as soon as I start, start typing it in it's gonna give me uh, a few uh, options so count and it tells you what it means next to it count the number of cells in a range that contains numbers then you have Count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Count the number of uh, number of empty cells. So if it's empty, count if uh, if it meets a given condition, and count the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. And the one I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for. There we go. That one. It's going to count a. So I'm going to put the word letter a in there. And then I believe put bracket, and then I'm going to go and use my mouse and go back to the first sheet worksheet, which is here. And I'm just gonna, um, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go and click A here, and then I'm gonna press empty, uh, press enter. Sorry, so it tells me 500 there, but we all know that we shouldn't add the first one, so. I'm going to be clever here. Go in here. And then I'm going to put another bracket in front here. So this is a little bit of maths, really. And since I've got two brackets open, I need to have two brackets closed on that. So one on two on one side, and you need to have two on the other side. But what I need to do is put minus, and look at this, this is a formula now, yeah, which is obviously another thing that we need to show. Minus one. Brackets close, press enter. So now that is the accurate number of people who have actually uh, participated in this okay so we've actually done both for double click inside a count and a formula there okay so I could actually and I'm going to uh, screenshot this to show both so I'm gonna print screen this now while I'm still inside of it so print screen 
and come back over here. There you go, paste it in. And I'm going to crop it in to the point where you can see the formula and the count. And then increase it so you can really show off to the examiner. And there you go. And you can actually afford to go even further in to reduce the space being used. So I'm going to say count A and formula. There you go. And then you explain what you did. So in this one, I want to say, right, I'll use count A to see how many participants actually participated in this survey conducted by um, uh, Cine, Cine World. In this case, it's Cine World. And in the real one, it might be something else. So be specific. And then explain, okay, I did this by using the count A function. This allows to count exactly how many people, how many um, cells that are not blank and the reason why this is important and useful is because it does it automatically this way if there was someone else added to the bottom so if I just randomly put an email here you'll see what I mean I'm gonna put my school email in here no actually I'm not gonna do that because I might get a bunch of random emails from different students all over the country so I'm gonna put down a random thing so I'm gonna say a random email random no it's a random email a gmail Dot com. Okay, now I've put that there. I've obviously not filled the rest of it. It's in, but you should see the number go up. There you go. It's gone up to 500. That proves that it's working. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here. Don't need this obviously. So I'm going to delete that. Done. So we've got the count in there now. So you must explain what uh, you did as I've just explained to you verbally. So that's what I would type in there. Then, since I've done formula, I can kill two birds with one, st one stone here. I can talk about how I had to put a formula in here and explain why. And I've just explained that to you, haven't I? I had to put a minus one in here because we know that the first column, sorry, first row, shouldn't be included because that's the header. That's the header for each of the fields. That's not a person there. So therefore, it had to be minusing one to, um, to make sure that actually uh, provides an accurate number. Okay, now if you want to go one step further, and I'm going to do that actually since I'm uh, extra, I'm going to show the end results. So there you go. I'm going to print screen this and then come back here and paste that in there as well. And again, showing the result of what it is that I'm trying to do. Increase this and then you can talk about it. So you can see the formula and the count and the result of that and you explain why okay now I'm gonna end the video here for this section um, uh, the one the one thing I want to say before I move on is you'll see that even though I'm developing this spreadsheet as I move along I might later on in a later video decide to move some things around change some things add some things and so on and so forth which is completely fine so in the next video I'm going to take this one step further and do some other more complicated formulas using this okay now I haven't decided what I'm going to call this yet and that's fine because I don't need to know now as as I move along the project I will then decide what would be a suitable name for it so as I, for now I'm going to keep it as sheet 2 but eventually I will need to come up with something for that maybe like a summary sheet or something like that okay so give that a go and make sure you explain what you've done and why you've done it with the evidence underneath it here. See you for the next video.